हेलो वेलकम अगेन वी आर सॉल्विंग सम कन्वेंशनल क्वेश्चंस ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल द टॉपिक इज रिफ्लेक्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर फ्रॉम सिविल सर्विसेज आईएएस मेंस 2009 इज ए बीम ए बी सी डी फाइव मीटर लॉन्ग इज पोर्टेड एट ए एंड सी एज शोन इन फिगर ए इट कैरीज ए पॉइंट लोड ऑफ टू किलोमीटर एट एंड डी एंड ए मोमेंट ऑफ टू किलोमीटर मीटर क्लॉक एट बी वॉट इज फ्लैक्सल जिडिटी ई आई ऑफ द बी इफ डिफ्लैक्शन एट डी इज नॉट टू एक्सीड वन एम एम सो दिस इज यूर दिस अ फिगर गिवन दिस इज स्पोर्ट ए दिस इज स्पोर्ट सी हेयर ए टू किलोमीटर मीटर बैंडिंग मोमेंट इज अप्लाइड हेयर ए लोड ऑफ टू किलोमीटर इज अप्लाइड एंड दिस डिस्टेंस टू मीटर टू मीटर डिस्टेंस इज वन मीटर ओके so now uh, let us uh, take ra be the reaction at a and rc be the reaction at c and uh, now uh, taking moment about c we can find out ra so if we take moment about a uh, c then it will be ra into four clockwise two into two will be uh, two itself is the moment so it is also clockwise so it will be plus two and two into one it will be clockwise and Uh, if there is any horizontal reaction, then it will pass through this uh, point, so it will not be taken into account. It is by the calculation only. So now total work, now R A comes out as minus one kilonewton or minus thousand newton. Now R A plus R C is total of vertical upward load and uh, and uh, downward load is two kilonewton. So R A plus R C will be a two kilonewton. Okay, so R C will be a टू प्लस वन दैट इज थ्री किलोमीटर और टू थाउजेंड किलोमीटर ओके सो नाउ यूजिंग मकानिक मैथड को डिफ्लेक्शन एट पॉइंट डी इज गिवन विल फाइंड आउट द डिफ्लेक्शन एट पॉइंट डी बाई यूजिंग मकानिक मैथड एंड इक्वेट इट इक्वल टू द गिवन डिफ्लेक्शन एंड एंड वेन फाइंड आउट ये सो नाउ इन मकानिक मैथड द मोमेंट अबाउट ए पॉइंट बिटवीन लास्ट फ्लोर एंड सेकेंड लास्ट फ्लोर इज टेकन सो Now take a point between uh, C and D at a distance x from from spot A. Okay. So then the moment is R A into x plus two into thousand into x minus two raised power zero. So this x minus two raised power zero is taken to pronounce that effect that the moment at B is acting uh, moment that moment is acting at point B before point B. There is no effect of uh, that that moment. Okay, so if we take x minus two raised power zero here, so that means uh, in the generalized bending equation, we'll uh, have the effect of this moment in this portion only. Okay, so uh, in that method, x minus two raised power zero is taken, or the or the or where the moment is acting, uh, the distance from the. Uh, From the point where we are taking uh, about which we are taking moment is taken, and its power zero is taken. Okay, so here uh, moment is two into thousand, and if we take x minus two raised power zero, it will make no difference. Okay, because x minus two raised power zero is just one, so it will be two thousand, but its effect will be in this section. Okay, and then uh, R C into x minus four. Okay, the distance is x minus four. R C into x minus four. Okay. so that is the generalized uh, bending equation and that is valid uh, in all the section in this section in this section in this section with some addition okay so we be integrate it and then it will be r a into x square by 2 and this will be e e i d by d x and this will be 2 into 1000 x minus 2 uh, we will add 1 to this power and this will be r c x minus 4 square by 2 plus c okay Now we integrate it again. Then it will be e i y and r a x two by six plus two thousand x minus two is or two by two and r c into x minus four two by six plus c one x plus c two. So now if x is equal zero, if x is equal zero, okay, if this x is zero, then this uh, will be the point. Then the deflection at this point is zero. Okay. So in this uh, method, we if uh, the term within the bracket comes out negative, then it is taken as zero. 
it is taken as zero. Okay, so because uh, if we take x is equal to zero, okay, then these effects will not be there. Okay, uh, effect of R C, effect of moment, effect of D will not be there, so it will be taken as zero. So their effect will be nullified. Okay, so now if we take x is equal to zero, then y will be zero, and this will be zero. This uh, this will be negative, and so it will be zero. This will be negative, so this will be zero. So this will be zero. So C two will also be zero. So now if we take uh, now uh, another spot is that C. So if it x is equal to four, then y is equal to zero. So if x is equal to four, then y is equal to zero. And this is your uh, now we put x is equal. So this will be zero. So this will be zero, and this will be two. Okay, and this will be. Four C one and this C two is already given. So from this we can find out C one. So C one is here one six six point six 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 seven. Okay. So now the equation uh, we have two constant C one is one six point six seven and C two is zero. So now the equation can be written as E I Y minus thousand uh, putting the value here minus thousand x cube by six plus thousand uh, x minus two. Square by square, and three thousand x minus four u by six, and one six 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 point six six x. Okay. So now the reflection at x is equal to five or at point D is given. Okay. So uh, that is given as one mm. Okay. So at x is equal to five, y is equal to one mm. Y y is equal to one by thousand meter, or it is negative downward. Okay. So this is your negative. So if we take y as negative, then this will be negative, and x is five. So we will put a, x is equal to five here, and five here. So we will see, and this will be one. This will be five. So from this, we have e i as three thousand into thousand newton meter square, or three thousand kilo newton meter square. Is the right answer?